sorry I'm late guys, but the dog chewed up my gym shoes, so I had to tape them together really quick before coming over here. I would have texted you, except apparently he took my phone also. I think it's in the toilet. I got a lizard because it's the animal I relate to the most. He's a cold-blooded guy who just wants to chill on his rock alone all day. I appreciate and respect that. I don't care if people think it's weird to put hashtag dog dad in my dating profile, okay? Tucker is like my son, my furry golden son. And if a lady wants to win my heart, She's gotta win his heart too. Mr. Whiskers, I think I've been picking up some of your cat language. Meow, 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 meow. Do you know what I just said? I knew you would. I was right. Thanks for agreeing to take care of my fish while I'm out of town at the traffic light convention. It should be pretty straightforward. Just make sure the tank stays at exactly 78 degrees Fahrenheit and give them exactly two and a quarter pellets of fish food every 12 hours. I left a binder with further detailed instructions on the counter. Oh, your dog is a Portuguese Pedango Pequeno, huh? That's pretty cool. I have no idea what my cat is. Like, orange, I guess. Okay, Cheddar, roll over. Cheddar? Cheddar, roll over. Cheddar, roll over. Daddy made you a special Instagram account, so you gotta start giving him some more interesting content. Because our last post of you just sitting there looking adorable only got six likes. Now roll over. I do not have too many cats. I only have eight, which is under the legal limit. Besides, I am saving lives here. And just maybe, they're saving me too. Oh, I just love this picture of Baxter in the snow as a puppy. Oh, and here he is in his little Christmas sweater. Just look how the light catches his eyes in this photo. Oh, I'm sorry. Are these pictures of my dog doing nothing remarkable boring you? Ah, a lovely cheese pizza just for me. <laughs> no, you are not getting any of my dinner. You just ate. Okay, you acting like you're gonna starve if you don't get any of this pizza is a slippery slope argument and I will not tolerate any logical fallacies in this household. I love having a dog because it's an excuse to leave any event I don't wanna be at anymore. Speaking of which, I should probably get home and feed that little guy. My dog is pretty low maintenance. He only eats organic locally sourced foods and only drinks water from the mountains of Finland, but I mean, that's pretty normal, right? I mean, I'm not trying to raise some kind of animal here. Excuse me, your dog just took a big dookie over here and you walked away without cleaning it up. What kind of person are you? No! Oh. oh no, I stepped on your tail. I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be the one who keeps you safe. And I failed. How could I? I'm a monster. Oh my gosh, Rufus's doggy daycare is calling me. I hope he's okay. Hello? What? Rufus is bullying the other dogs? How? By taking their toys. Look, Rufus is just a leader who knows what he wants. If the other dogs feel threatened, they need to step it up. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I was just thinking about how Salem won't live forever. Yeah, I know I only adopted him yesterday and he's still a kitten and he'll probably live to be like 25 years old, but still, it's sad to think about.